Is the SN95 a good car to buy? Well, in my opinion, I think a lot of people are actually sleeping on these cars because in stock form, they can be a lot of fun and modified, they can be even better. Now, when we talk about SN95 Mustangs, we're referring to the cars built between 1994 and 2004. Now, the 99 through 04 are commonly known as the New Edge cars, but they're still part of the SN95 family. Now, when the SN95 debuted in 1994, Mustang enthusiasts were basically mixed and a lot of people didn't like it, which again, is nothing new that happened in 05, it happened in 2011, and it happened again in 2015. But people grew to like the car, and again, the curves, it was a lot different looking than your Fox Body Mustang. There were more curves to it, you had the dual cockpit interior. It was a completely different car. But it had a better chassis, better suspension, so much so, the Motor Trend actually called this car of the year for 1994. So is this car a good investment right now? Well, with Fox Buddy Mustang prices going through the roof, the SN95 might be the next Mustang you want to consider, and here's 10 reasons why. To start, the SN95 represented the last Pushrod 5.0 Mustang available in a factory car. Now, the Pushrod 5.0 is one of the reasons why the Fox Body Mustangs became legendary, and it was still available in the SN95 in 1994 and 1995. So if you like that push rod engine and the sound of that engine, this chassis will be way better in stock form than the Fox body, but you can still get that push rod motor for $94.95. So again, if you're considering an SN95 and you still like the push rod, 94 would be a perfect choice. Next on my list, the SN95 was the last time you could get a Mustang Cobra. Now the 93 Cobras are pretty much unaffordable right now, but you can get a 94.5 Cobra for a very affordable price, had the same engine, better suspension, and better brakes. 96 through 01 Cobras, again, you had a 32 valve mod motor, but they're great motors and again, a really capable chassis. And then 0304, you all know about those. I mean, they are the most collectible SN95, but 04 was the last year you could get a Mustang Cobra. Another thing to consider, in my opinion, the SN95 was the last true driver's car. Now, what do I mean by that? Yeah, they had ABS and the later ones had a very rudimentary traction control, but again, these cars were still the ones you could just take them out and toss them around. You know, no worrying about unplugging sensors and holding buttons down and turn off advanced track and the other nannies. These cars literally get in and let it rip. Again, gave you that kind of classic Mustang feel, but with a lot more modern technology. Another thing to consider, the SN95 was the last Mustang that was relatively light. Now again, these were a little heavier than the Fox Body Mustangs, but these are over 400 pounds lighter than the S197 and even far lighter than the S550 Mustang. So if you're looking to build a race car and go fast, well, we all know less weight equals go faster. So again, these are great chassis to start with and they're easy to make even far lighter. You know, my 1996 Cobra Crimpstang, I had that car well below 3,000 pounds without even getting crazy with weight reduction. So again, if you're looking to build a car to go fast, something light, SN95 is an excellent chassis. Another thing to consider is the parts. Parts are cheap and easy to get for the SN95 Mustang. Now again, right now in the current climate, yeah, I know some parts are just unobtainable, but again, the parts for these cars are as easy to find as Fox Body parts, and they're just as affordable. Which means if you're working on the car, getting the parts you need is not gonna be difficult. As another bonus, they're actually new enough that a lot of Ford parts still remain for these cars. You know, finding stuff for the Fox is nearly impossible. If you walk into a dealership, you can buy a cowl, mirrors, all kinds of parts are still available from Ford for your SN95 Mustang. Another thing to consider is they're very reliable. The five liter engine or even the 4.6 liter engine have been known to go for hundreds of thousands of miles with just basic maintenance and no other work. Now again, if you abuse them, that's a different story. But if you're looking for something that stays together, again, even the 4.6 is a solid choice. And there's a guy over on Instagram, 96 Tangerine GT. He's approaching half a million miles on an original engine 96 Mustang. So again, taken care of properly, they can be very reliable. Now, another thing to consider with the SN95, especially if you're thinking from an investment standpoint, is how many special editions they are. Now, I'm not talking about the ones that are built to be collectible, I'm talking about the cars that you want to drive. And there were a lot of them in the SN95 years. You had Cobras, you had two different Cobra Rs, you had Roushes, Celines, Bullets, Mach 1s, and even stuff like the Shinoda Boss. There's a lot of different special editions out there, and a lot of them are still relatively affordable. If you're looking for an older Mustang and you're a fan of convertibles, again, the SN95 is an excellent choice. Now, the Fox Body convertibles, they began life as coupes, so again, they're very, very flexible. Not so much with the SN95. This car was built to be a convertible, so they're much more solid, less chassis flex. The windows actually roll up and they align properly with the top, unlike the previous model. So again, if you're a fan of top-down cruising, you might want to consider an SN95 Mustang. 
Another reason to consider an SN95 Mustang is the variety of cars out there for sale. From 94 to 04, they made over 1.5 million SN95 Mustangs. Now that's basically as much as S197 and S550 combined. What does that mean? There's a lot of these cars out there. It's like, yeah, they're older, they're classic cars now, so a lot of them have gone to the Crusher. But again, there's a ton of them for sale. And if you're looking for a nice one, shouldn't be hard to find. And now for the last reason, and probably the best reason of all, right now, they're very affordable. But look at the price of a 93 Mustang Cobra. You cannot touch a nice, clean driver for less than 30 grand, and they just go up from there. 94.5 Cobra, same engine, better suspension, better chassis. You can find a nice one for around $10,000 right now, which makes them a great value. Now, there are some SN95s that are up in price, 0304 Cobras being one of them, Cobra Rs, rare stuff like that. But as a whole, there's a lot of really nice SN95s that are available. So again, right now, the classic car market is going nuts, but these are classic cars, and if you're looking for a nice classic car to consider at a very affordable price that you will probably make money on, I'd consider an SN95 Mustang.